tricks for full marks in note making usually note making is very difficult for uh, students actually it is not note making is such a topic where you can get 8 out of 8 and it is not difficult because the passage is already given in your uh, question paper and what you have to do for making notes I will discuss in this video let's start the first question is what is noting or note making note making is extracting extremely important points from the passage that you have read it could be a passage it could be a book it could be magazine journal anything okay so when you are extracting important points it will help you in recalling information later on when you uh, next time sit with the book you don't have to read entire book or entire passage when you read the notes that you have made you will be able to recall the information which was provided by the passage so main uh, the main purpose of making notes is, is uh, to uh, is to retrieve the information from a longer and expanded text okay okay now let's see the structure and the marks distribution first of all you have to mention heading then content abbreviations and summary and marks distribution is already given 4 plus 4 now let's discuss some do's and don'ts of note making see note making is all about concising the text or main passage okay you have to make it short and uh, for that you will take help of abbreviations and uh, phrases etc let's discuss point wise first one is shorten or concise the text passage remember if you are not shortening the lines then there is no point in making notes okay therefore the lines should be very short and in maximum cases you have to use phrases only that is how we have to shorten the line okay number two use with proper indentations now see based on their importance you have to place the points there is a distance from margin okay for the points section then for sub points you have to give a bit more space from the margin let's move to number three no marks deduction for grammatical errors and uh, therefore therefore you can skip connectors you can skip verb and uh, that is why I told you that you can get full marks in note making because there is no negative marking in grammar error let's move to number four no uh, full sentences allowed this is very important uh, put asterisk mark to this point point number four that no full sentences allowed in note making you have to take help of phrases or you have to use extremely short lines okay number five use phrases which I have already discussed and what are phrases a group of words next number number six don't forget to provide title if you don't provide title you will not get one mark which is allotted for title understood same goes with abbreviation as well if you don't write abbreviations you will lose one mark and you will be marked out of three so you can imagine out of three how much you'll get okay so it's very easy just give title just give abbreviation and then in the content you have to use three at least three points along with sub points and then you will be getting uh, entire marks for note making now about the length of the note making the note making should be one fourth of the main passage number 10 use one line for the one point you cannot mix two three points in one point because it will become very lengthy and you are not supposed to use two lines you will wind up one point in one line itself let me tell you step by step how you are going to start with the note making example one students when you get the passage for note making you have to read it and while reading you have to underline important lines important phrases important words as well the work of the heart can never be interrupted the heart's job is to keep oxygen rich blood flowing through the body all the body's cell need a constant supply of oxygen especially those in the brain the brain cells live only four to five minutes after their oxygen is cut off and then death comes to the entire body the heart is a specialized muscle that serves as a pump this pump is divided into four chambers connected by tiny doors called valves the chambers work to keep blood flowing 
round the body in a circle. At the end of each circuit, veins carry the blood to the right atrium, the first of the four chambers. Two-fifth oxygen by then is used up and it is on its way back to the lung to pick up a fresh supply and to give up the carbon dioxide it has accumulated from the right atrium. The blood flows through the tricuspid valve into the second chamber, the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts when it is filled, pushing the blood through the pulmonary artery, which leads to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood gives up its carbon dioxide and picks up fresh oxygen. Then it travels to the third chamber, the left atrium. When this chamber is filled, it forces the blood through the valve to the left ventricle. From here, it is pushed into a big blood vessel called the aorta and sent around the body by way of arteries. Heart disease can result from any damage to the heart muscles, the valves or the pacemaker. If the muscle is damaged, the heart is unable to pump properly. If the valves are damaged, blood cannot flow normally and easily from one chamber to another. And if the pacemaker is defective, the contraction of the chambers will become uncoordinated. Until the 20th century, few doctors dared to touch the heart. In 1953, all this changed. After 20 years of work, Dr. John Gibbon in the USA had developed a machine that could take over temporarily from the heart and lungs. Blood could be routed through the machine by passing the heart so that surgeons could work inside it and see what they were doing. The era of open heart surgery had begun. In the operating theatre, it gives Surgeons, the chance to repair or replace a defective heart. Many patients have had plastic valves inserted in their hearts when their own were faulty. Many people are being kept alive with tiny battery-operated pacemakers. None of these repairs could have been made without the heart-lung machine, but valuable as it is to the surgeons the heart lung machine has certain limitations it can be used only for a few hours at a time because its pumping gradually damages the blood cells now you will read the passage once again over and then you will underline those points which you have missed out in first reading students this is an ideal structure for note making first of all you have to write title which should not be in one word it should have a phrase or a line okay then you will after reading the passage you will decide what are the main points and what are sub points then sub sub points this sub sub points hardly comes in use because within first and second point we wind up on the important we jot down all the important points okay so here in first main point and sub point, the space that you can see out here is very important. These are called indentations or indentions. Okay, and this space shows whether the points are very important or it these are a bit less important. Okay. See out here, it is just close to the margin. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. These are main points, extremely important points. Okay. And Second point, sub points, which are almost one inch away from the margin. Okay, these are a little less important points. Okay, and in some cases, we require sub sub points as well. And here you find a distance of two inches. All right, so this indentations or indentions shows this spacing shows their importance. Clear now, after reading, you will understand that what are the important points. Okay, don't worry, we will practice. All right. Then, after making this structure, and if you wish, you can make this structure, okay, prior to the examination only. If not, you can read it and later on also you can do it. Because in some cases, we require, every time we don't require this structure, okay.
okay sometimes it goes like this also 1 1.1 1.2 1.3 okay so based on the topic based on the passage we need to change our indentations as well i hope it is clear to you all okay then abbreviations abbreviations and symbols after writing these points okay you have to make a box proper box and at the top you will write abbreviations and symbols here six points you can you are allowed to write six abbreviated words and their meanings in the right hand side okay let's move to the structure of the question now after reading the passage i have decided this could be the title see students this title is my in a way it's my decision to take this as title okay but in your case you might write something else but if it is related with the passage you will be given entire one marks don't worry about that don't think that your title is different from mine okay there is no hard and fast rule in note making it can never be identical remember that same goes with points as well the points the way i have made it um, the way i have shortened it it's not necessary that you will also shorten in the same way but the basic structure should be same clear let's let me show you point number 1 in the passage i found this as very crucial part so i'm writing out here function of heart because entire passage talks about this okay now it is vital for living the thing which we have underlined we i have we have molded it like this okay never stop working our heart never stops working it is understood and some are grammatically incorrect some are not full sentence but still we will be given marks because it is extracting important points only clear point number 3 supplies oxygen rich blood to different parts here the word which i have abbreviated i have underlined and this is what even you need to do clear then we will move to and here points and sub points sub sub points are not required so i have not mentioned okay point number 2 structure of the heart connected by valves point number 2 blood purified lungs arteries carry pure blood to different parts point number 3 here also i don't find any necessity to write sub sub points so i skip that point number 3 heart disease because it is weak okay weak heart muscles defective valves defective pacemaker point number 4 history it is underlined because it is abbreviated history open heart surgery 1953 dr gibbon invented heart lung ma machine blood could pass through machine enabled open heart surgery plastic valves replace defective heart valves these are the points which i find in second last paragraph and here also sub points are not required okay but you might require it okay if you feel that you can um you need to mention few more things about here point number 1 then you can do it okay there are different ways to do it but the main you know fundamental essential points should not be skipped all right you cannot skip this point history of open heart surgery because this is the key point in the passage okay limitations limitations point number 1 used only for few hours pumping damages blood cells so these are the five points which i have found important from the passage okay you might have found only four that is also okay because it is a four marks so four points will also do i have done one extra but you can skip this point number 5 as well you can wind up your note making in point number 1 2 3 4 itself with abbreviations i hope it is clear and the students make sure that when you are making the points here it should be right below the first one and the second one third one should be right below second one okay and the same lining should be maintained here as well if you see if you draw a line there will be a straight line out here okay and if you draw out here there will be straight line so this is this should be maintained by you all as well i hope it is clear to you all let me talk about abbreviations students abbreviations and symbols should be your heading and it should be written within the box here you will write the words which you have abbreviated and here the main word okay so we had abbreviated point number 1 working different history doctor invented and machine and minor abbreviations you can skip like and okay and then that is 
etc those are insignificant so we can exclude those but these are the main which you have to write okay so this is regarding abbreviations and symbols i will show you another example as well for the, for example for showing you all i have taken ranga's marriage and uh, you know that how lengthy the chapter is but i have concise entire chapter in six points okay so how i have done it i'll show it to you let's have a look at this example which i have taken from class 11 syllabus first of all see uh, you have to focus on numbering i have given number one number two the points which are in red color these are points and those who, which are in green color those are sub points okay and remember when you are writing sub points the first letter should not be capital because it is part of the sentence it is not a full sentence understood if you write in capital letters in green colored section then you are going to lose marks another important thing is that you you should not mix up all the numberings like i have given number 1 a b c number 2 a and other points are also there okay but here i cannot write two roman letter one it is because in the first section i have already given a b c okay so that you have to remember the numbering pattern that you have followed for number one you have to follow the same throughout the noting next very important point is indentations see the space which i have given uh, while writing a b points sub points okay from margin this is almost uh, one inch away okay and sub sub points that is uh, good singer good at vena harmonium <clears throat> these are sub sub points and for this i have given two inches indentations okay so this you have to remember uh, when you are making notes these are very important because it shows their importance after that i'll show you how to make abbreviations general abbreviations are already there like education organization okay science sc for science but if you find a new word and the, you have to abbreviate that what you will do see first you will take first two letters of the word and the last two letters and in between you will put an apostrophe mark okay that will abbreviate your word and the same word you will write in abbreviation section as well and make sure that you uh, you'll underline all the abbreviations that you have used in the passage sorry in the noting okay so these are the abbreviations that i have used in this note making of ranga's marriage you can see how i have abbreviated the word and you can use them too this completes our noting section and now we have to move towards summary writing okay it's very easy for summary writing you just have to make a paragraph of the points that you have extracted from the passage i beg your pardon students i totally forgot to explain number eight which is extremely important see number eight talks about abbreviating uh, proper noun in note making you should never abbreviate proper noun proper noun is name of a place thing animal okay so here alexander this is name of a person the same goes with place as well hosahali is a place and uh, you cannot abbreviate it remember to use only four to six abbreviate you have to go through this passage and uh, you have to make a note of it 